Hello and welcome back! This video includes 5 amazing low effort meal ideas made with ingredients that you might already have sitting around your kitchen. Plus, they're all pretty quick to make, so if you have pockets of 10 to 15 minutes in your day, you can definitely make these. Quick thanks to Squarespace for today's support, and now let's begin! This first idea is a super simple panini inspired by something that I ate at a cafe not too long ago. It's a kimchi grilled cheese sandwich. I'm using this pan here. Doesn't have a handle anymore. My bread of choice would be some English muffins, but use whatever you have. Preheat the pan to medium high and add some vegan butter or oil. As that's heating up, build the sandwich. So to the bread, I first added some hummus. You could also do vegan cream cheese or omit that entirely. Then I'm adding some vegan kimchi, some plant-based cheese that actually has the capacity to melt, a bit of spinach, some more cheese, transfer the sandwich to the now hot pan and allow this to toast for two to three minutes on each side. It's important to weigh down the sandwich as it's cooking and I found it's best to do that with a smaller lid. It presses down the toast while at the same time creating space for the steam to kind of melt everything together. This is a tiny sandwich and so I ended up making another one. Similarly to how it was presented at the restaurant, I finished this off with sriracha and sesame seeds. And then I also made an iced vanilla matcha. All right, moving on to this next recipe. This might be my new favorite curry meal. It's this super satisfying mushroom and peanut curry that's made without coconut. First things first, chop up some mushrooms. I'm using oyster mushrooms, which those give you a very similar texture to chicken. Bring a nonstick pan with a bit of oil to medium high and then allow the mushroom pieces to fry for a good 6-7 minutes or until nice and crispy. In the meantime, I'm chopping up a bit of garlic here without that being in focus. Add the garlic to the now somewhat crispy mushrooms and then go ahead and season this. I'm adding some seasoned salt mix and some red curry paste. Also add some creamy natural peanut butter some vegetable broth, and a bit of oat or soy milk. Since the peanut butter is so rich, you could even just add water. Plus, add a bit of vinegar or lemon juice, some soy sauce, and some spring onion. I have a very special connection to these onions. It's because I, I, I regrew them myself by just putting the ends in water and letting that sit near the sun for like a good week and a half. Anyway, if the curry at any point gets too thick, you can just add some more liquid and then serve with whatever you like. I went for glass noodles because I was not patient enough for rice. This is so satisfying, so yummy. Might be my favorite recipe from today, maybe, possibly. It's very hard to decide. Next up, we have a pasta recipe. This one is very much inspired by the idea, the concept of carbonara. Get started by bringing a pot with salted water up to a boil to cook some spaghetti. Cut up some smoked tofu into small chunks. Let the tofu crisp up in a pan with some oil over medium-high heat for about 6 minutes. Next, grab a small bowl. To replace the eggs in this recipe, we're going to combine chickpea flour, non-dairy milk, and vinegar. Then turn the heat of the tofu pan down to medium. Feel free to add some frozen peas. Why not? Let the peas defrost for like a minute or two, then add the cooked spaghetti, followed by some vegan butter and vegan parmesan cheese, which I went for store-bought, but if you have some extra time, you could put together some almond or cashew parmesan notes on that down below in the description. Last but not least, pour over the chickpea milk mix and then combine everything well. 
Let this cook for another two minutes or so. Season with salt to taste. Add more cheese if you like. Enjoy! We're making some wraps. These are packed with protein and, and, and flavor-wise they remind me of Caesar salad a little bit. To save time, this could be treated as a meal prep recipe where you make the filling the night before. But this recipe is also super quick if you decide to just make it the day off. To a food processor, add a can of drained chickpeas plus a block of plain tofu. Blend until both are broken up into chunks like so. You don't want like a full puree situation. In a small bowl, mix together plain soy yogurt, plain hummus, mustard, olive oil, soy sauce, white wine vinegar, and th that is it. Mix, mix, mix. And then you can add that to the tofu chickpea mass. Combine everything, add salt to taste. Now, if it's the night before, store this sealed in the fridge overnight. You can keep it in there for up to three days, I would say. Now let's pretend it's the next day. It's lunchtime and I'm hungry for one of those wraps. So to the center of a medium tortilla, add some lettuce and some tomato, followed by a few tablespoons of that filling. Feel free to add some more vegan cheese here. And then I also added a bit of sriracha just because I wanted some spice in there. Roll up your wrap. Make sure to toast it as well on the stove really quickly for two minutes on each side. For aesthetic purposes, I gave it the typical vegan chili mayo and bagel seasoning look. That is obviously not needed. All right, so this last and final recipe I am absolutely obsessed with. Obsessed? It does kind of faintly remind me of bibimbap. First, grab a block of plain natural tofu. I'm using the Erika Bio one, and that one is so dry that it's perfect for this recipe. I don't want to chop it, I'm sort of just pulling it into chunks to give it a bit more of a fun texture. Then I'm adding some cornstarch to that, followed by this Vegeta seasoning here. It's essentially like vegetable broth powder, plus I'm adding a bit of Kalanamak. Mix it up well. Bring a pan to medium-high heat with some oil. Once it's hot, add the tofu chunks and let them fry for about six minutes until golden brown and crispy. Meanwhile, cut up some quick cooking vegetables of choice. I'm going with mushrooms. I'm also cutting up some shallots. Remove the tofu from the pan and set that aside. Add a bit more oil, plus the chopped vegetables. You don't have to use mushrooms here. You could also do bell pepper, zucchini, pak choy. Then I added some kimchi, some soy sauce, some baby spinach, and let that cook for another two to three minutes. Lastly, to give it a bit more flavor, I added some sesame oil and vinegar. Once again, I did not feel like cooking up rice. And so I'm going for couscous, just because it's so incredibly low effort to make. Last but not least, make the really yummy sauce. I'm in love with this sauce. Simply just combine gochujang with soy sauce, olive oil, white wine or rice vinegar, and a little bit of store-bought barbecue sauce. And I'll plate this up. So on top of your fluffy couscous or any other grain of choice, you add the stir fry kimchi mushrooms, the crispy tofu, and the barbecue sauce. I've already said I'm obsessed with this, right? It's so good. You have to try this. And that concludes today's recipes. Thank you so much for watching. If you recreate any of these, why not take a quick photo, put it on your Instagram story, random, but I started posting a little bit on TikTok recently. TikTok intimidates me very much, but I just wanted to use this platform to post random stuff. 
giving you some fun little bonus content um yeah the link for my tiktok will be down below feel free to like and like subscribe on there i don't even know and now a word from today's sponsor Squarespace is an all-in-one platform made to help you build and grow your online brand and business. Create your next website really easily using one of Squarespace's many beautiful and professional looking website templates. Also, Squarespace gives people the chance to monetize their content in new and fun ways. Create a newsletter with Squarespace to promote your products. You could start selling access to gated content like video courses, extra podcast episodes, and so on. And if you need any help along the way, they offer 24-7 award-winning customer service. I've used it in the past. It's great. Start today. Go to squarespace.com slash minarome and use code minarome to get 10% off your first purchase of a new website or domain. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Cause now you're all by yourself. Now you're all by yourself